Today on Zoom. Wow, it's really loud. I kind of look up to one of my brothers, Jeremy, because he like persists and goes after things that he wants. Could this be our evil villain, Missy Meaner? <gasps> that shoe snatching thief? <gasps> Hungry. <laughs> Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. called Avoid the Octopus. First, pick one player to be the octopus. Then, everybody else, the fish, line up on one side of the octopus. When the octopus shouts hungry, everybody crosses to the other side while the octopus tries to tag them. If a fish is tagged, he has to hold hands with the octopus and become a tentacle. The last fish left wins. Okay, guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Hungry. <laughs> Kelly O 
of New Orleans, Louisiana, sent in this phenomenon. Did you know that if you rub a wet finger on top of a glass with a stem, it will make music? We thought we should try it out. Wet? Wet the finger. All right. Hold it at the bottom. Yeah. Wow, it's really loud. Cool. What if you put water into the, the glass? Yeah. What do you think will happen? I think we'll go lower because I think that vibrations are kind of harder, like going through water. I and think. I, I think it will go lower because the vibration goes through air, and so it, there's not going to be that much. Like right now, if I go like that, it, it's full of air, and if you put water, air can't. I, I don't think it. Can, there's not a more air. Yeah, and I don't think air can go through water. <laughs> okay, ready? Just put a little on this one. About there. Halfway. Halfway. This one. This one. And I'll do the last one. All right. This one's almost full. So. Wait. Do, 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 do. And almost to the top. All right. Okay. Whoa. No, All right now. Finger. Totally... All Whoa. Right. I'll try this one. Try that one. Yeah, that's a lot lower. Yeah. You can just look. You can even see some of the vibrations in the water. That's Whoa, so that is awesome. Try that one. Let's try this one. Look, you can see the vibrations in this one too. Can you? Yeah. That's high. This is just a little water, so this should be high. I can't see any vibrations in this one. Not enough water. Oh wait, I'm not holding. Ready? Let's try. You try that one. And I'll try these two. This is so cool. I'm gonna try this whenever I go to a restaurant again. So we were right. The one with no water was the highest. And the one full of water was the lowest. Yep. Cool. See if you can use different shaped glasses that have stems to make different sounds. If you come up with something cool, send it to Zoom. Box 350, Boston, Mass. Oh, two, one, three, four. Yay! Okay, cool. <laughs> hey, Ray. Yeah, Lisa? How did the river hurt itself? I don't know. It had a waterfall. <laughs> of South Orange, New Jersey, sent us these Fanny Dooleys. Fanny Dooley likes puppies, but she doesn't like dogs. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley likes kittens, but doesn't like cats. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley likes gorillas, but doesn't like apes. Why do you think that is? Fanny Dooley's a brain teaser. Like lots of brain teasers, there's a rule for what she likes and what she doesn't like. Try and figure out the rule, then make your own fanny doolies and send them to Zoom. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Who is your favorite hero? My hero is my mom because she's raised me and she takes care of me when I'm sick. I would say the police because they help you every time that you are in trouble or when you're hurt, the ambulance comes. It's a good thing. My hero's my sister because she, um, she has a problem with her legs, but she's really good about it, and she's always happy. Martin Luther King Jr. because he, um, he helped African Americans to have the rights to, do, to go to the same schools as, like, as Caucasians or any other, any other culture. My favorite hero is Batman because he doesn't use super strength like Superman. My hero is my mom and my dad because they made me who I am today. Zoom, chat, zoom, chat, zoom, chat. Dear Zoom, I like to talk with my friends about a lot of things, but one of my favorite things to talk about is my heroes. I've got a question for you. Who are your heroes? 
what makes a real hero, why is your hero your hero, and what makes him or her so special. And I'm not talking about superheroes with superpowers and such. Your friend Judith Y. of Woodridge, New Jersey. My hero is, um, she was part of my family, but she died. Her name was Karen, and she's my hero because she was like, she was really independent. She like spoke her mind, and um, she was a really good person. I don't think that she should have passed away like that she did. I'm sorry. Well, I can okay. say one of my heroes might have been my teacher, Miss Hearth. I mean, she may have not have been my favorite teacher, but like when, like she persisted till she got where where she wanted to be, which was a teacher. We got to teach like basically all over the world. And so, and that's really cool because, like, she uh, she had to go through a lot of obstacles to get where she to where she wanted to be, and now she's there, and that makes her sort of a hero. My mom and dad are always there for me whenever I need them. You know, I can always tell them something, and they'll help me out. They're always there for me, so that makes them my heroes and my friends, like my best friend. She's always there for me, and she always like understands how I'm feeling and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sony, that makes me feel happy. And like makes my goal a lot bigger, cause like it's a person I want to be like, and it just makes me want to reach to where he is, and it's really cool. What's his name? Will Smith. Ah. I like him. He's like, <laughs> I like you know, him. No, he makes he makes my goal a lot bigger, cause it's it just looks like it's so much fun to like be him. It's like he like writes Persisting songs. Persisting to he, get like, to where he is. Yeah. Well, I have <laughs> I have two. Um. It's a hero and a heroine. Um, <laughs> my dad and my mom because um, they're always there for me. Mm -hmm. And if I want something, they'll try it. They'll try to get it. And even if they don't get it, I'm still happy. I love my parents yeah, so much. They try yeah, I love they, 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 they try their best to, to do it. And then sometimes I feel bad because, yeah. I, I really, because sometimes I really want something and they get it. And then, then I feel bad because exactly. I made them. I made them get it like so bad. I think a hero could be somebody that you like look up to. Like I kind of look up to one of my brothers, Jeremy, because he like persists and goes after things that he wants and really doesn't stop until he gets them. And they also he has like. I wish I was like that. <laughs> I know me too. <laughs> because he's not one of those people who doesn't think he can reach his dream. He knows he can do it. Oh, wow. of Newtonville, Massachusetts, nominated Mrs. Benjamin's class at the Cabot School for today's Zuma Cum Laude. After studying the natural habitat of a park near their school, they decided that they wanted to do something to benefit the park. So they made a brochure about the park's history, planted wildflowers, and hung a plaque at the park's entrance. Good work, guys. You'll be receiving your Zuma Cum Laude certificate in the mail. Hey, Caroline. Hi, Jess. There were five men standing under one umbrella. How come none of them got wet? I don't know. Because it wasn't raining. <laughs> That's funny. Huh? <whistles> Erica D. of Morristown, New Jersey, sent us these rebuses. You guys ready? Yep. Okay. What does that mean? Boat. No, oh, sail, minus, minus se, el, se, sail, ack, sail, sack, sack. Let's look. Sail minus el would be sa, plus crack, minus cra would be ack, so it would be sack. Oh, oh yeah. That's cool. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Lemon minus emin would be What's lime? That? Oh, time minus T. Yeah. I thought it was fuck. Oh, lemon minus Emin is L plus time minus T, which would be I'm, so L plus I'm is lime. Okay. Snow minus W is snow. What's, what is that, though? It's red minus D, right? So now what would it be all together? It would be snow. Snurret, snurret. No. <laughs> snow. Okay. Snow minus W, right? Mm -hmm. So it's snow. 
<laughs> red minus D is R E S N O R E, right? Snorey. <laughs> you guys don't know how to snore? And oh, snore. snore. <laughs> you like snorey? Uh, <laughs> what are you, snoreying? I know. Okay, and anymore? next one. Yeah. Okay. Like, glow, my glow. Glass. Glass. Good job. Ah. It's glow minus O W, so it's G L, and grass minus G R, so be glass. Yeah. Good job guessing those rebuses. Awesome. Ah, those are fun. The case of the missing shoes by Becky W. of Three Rivers, Michigan. One beautiful day, a certain girl named Susan McKay discovered her shoes were missing. Not all of them, but one from each pair. Where, oh, where could my shoes be? Oh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Can anyone help me? Did I hear the word help? Why, yes, detective. Hmm, are you missing one shoe from every pair? Why, yes, detective. Left or right? Uh, right. But how did you know I was missing a shoe? Because something stinks around here, and everyone coming this way has the same problem. Oh, dear, Mrs. Laffey, don't slip and fall. Can someone please tell me who's responsible for this nasty prank? I don't know yet, Mrs. Laffey, but I promise to get to the bottom of this at once. Not Professor Rufus, too. Huh? Me? Did somebody mention my name? Yes, Professor. You are missing a shoe. Left or right? Oh, dear. I suppose I am. Where could it have gone? Don't worry, Professor. I'll get to the bottom of this. Suddenly, a suspicious character has tiptoed onto the scene. Could this be our evil villain, Misty Meaner? <gasps> That shoe-snatching thief? <gasps> yeah, I did it. So what? You don't know where I'm hiding them. My secret is safe. Hmm. Or is it? My other sneaker, yeah. My other bunny slipper? Well, it's about time. Huh? Did somebody mention shoes? So, another mystery is solved in this small town, and... Hey! Where's my sock? I'll never tell. <laughs> Check it out! Check it out! We can't do it on our own, we need you to make it known. That everything you see right here could only be on Zoom. become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, and print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. We're on the 
lookout for plays written by you. So send your plays to Zoom, Box 350, Boston, Mass, 02134, or to the Zoom website at www.pbs.org, where you'll receive the latest issue of Zoomerang. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston.